Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about seven conversation starters that actually work. Now, let's begin. Number one, where are you from? This is a tried and true conversational starter. Millions of conversations have started this way, and millions more will follow. Because this conversation starter fits every occasion, from networking to first dates, you can always ask someone about their hometown. It's safe, it's friendly, and it opens the door for a longer conversation. Now, you may discover that you and this person have something in common. You're from the same city, or maybe you have relatives who live there. Either way, you have a wide variety of new subjects to talk about. But what if you don't know anyone who lives there? Hey, that's not a problem either. You can always ask questions like, did you enjoy growing up there? Or what was it like living in that city? People like to talk about their hometowns, so feel free to ask as many questions as you'd like. This conversation starter is a jack of all trades, but a master of none. It's very common, so it's not the most exciting or funny or unique, but sometimes average is all you need. All right, let's say you're at a convention for work trying to meet new contacts. This conversation starter will be your best friend. You can use this question to get the ball rolling with anyone. If you need to learn people's names, don't be afraid to use this line over and over again. But what if you're trying to stand out? What if you want to get someone's attention? Now, this opening line isn't exactly memorable or exciting, but hey, we're going to cover all kinds of great, flexible conversation starters on this list. So if you pick the right opening line, you can start every conversation on a high note. Number two, do you know? Practical questions make natural and effective conversation starters. Asking something simple like, do you know the time? gives your conversation a purpose. You're not talking to talk. You're not pulling questions out of thin air. Your interest doesn't seem fake or forced, so no one's going to think you're desperate. When you ask practical questions, people give practical answers, but a question gets your foot in the door, and sometimes, hey, that's all you need. Your questions can be as simple or complicated as you want. At a conference, you could ask, do you know who's speaking next? At a party, you could ask, do you know this song? On a first date, you could ask, do you know what food is good here? Even though they have simple answers, all of these questions get the conversation going. Once you've started the conversation, continuing the conversation is much easier. Number three, settle an argument for me. This conversation starter requires a bit of confidence, but if you put yourself out there, it begins each conversation with a fun and unique introduction. This opening line jumps right into the action. Instead of awkwardly exchanging names, you can turn small talk into a playful debate. The key is picking the right topic. Now, the topic you choose depends primarily on the situation. If you want to talk to someone you're interested in, pick something funny or flirtatious. For example, a guy might say to a girl, settle an argument for me. Do girls like guys who wear glasses? Now, this question immediately sets the tone of the conversation, especially if you wear glasses yourself. Now, if she likes you, she'll play along, offering easy opportunities to flirt and to get to know each other. But what if you're talking to someone from work instead? How could you use this question to network? Now, in these situations, choose a question that's interesting, curious, or career-oriented. Instead of stimulating a playful back and forth, these subjects encourage more thoughtful opinions. You'll easily make connections if you ask for and value people's perspectives. If you want to make a new friend, this conversation starter is a great way to make each other laugh. Choose something lighthearted or downright ridiculous. If someone shares your sense of humor, they'll have fun weighing in on the conversation. If you tailor your subject to each occasion, you can effectively make connections, bond with friends, and flirt with romantic partners. Number four, how do you know? The previous conversation starter is a little tricky, so let's talk about a safe and easy opening line. This question only works in certain contexts, but it's foolproof in the right setting. You should use this opening line at a party or social event hosted by someone you know. Now, at these events, everyone is connected to the host somehow. They may be relatives, they may be co-workers, or maybe they're just friends of friends. No matter how they're connected to the host, this subject is a safe place to start. All right, let's say you approach a stranger at your best friend's party. They may say something like, we work together at the office. And just like that, you can take the conversation in several different directions. You could ask them about their job. You could ask them why they chose their career path. If you want something milder, just ask about a funny story your friend told you from work. 
All of these questions are fair game. So use this conversation starter whenever you know the person hosting. Even if they're a complete stranger, you know you always have one thing in common. Number five, throw a curveball. This conversation starter isn't limited to one line or formula. It's one of the riskiest opening lines on this list, but also the most unique and creative. If done right, this can be a fun and memorable way to start any conversation. Now, instead of using a well-known opening line, start your next conversation with something out of left field. Just throw this person a complete curveball. Not only does this give you a chance to make them laugh, it also shows your personality better than any of the lines on this list. So why do oddball comments make good opening lines? Because weird, funny, and ridiculous comments break the mold, and that gets many people excited. People don't like rehashing the same questions a thousand times. When you throw them a curveball, they'll be excited to throw you one back. So what do curveballs look like in a conversation? Sometimes it's a strange question. Think of the strangest story or scenario that's ever happened to you. Ask someone if that's ever happened to them. If it has, they'll probably tell you their story. If it hasn't, then you tell them your own. Either way, you've created an opportunity to talk and laugh together, and nothing brings people closer than laughter. If you want a more conversational curveball, you could also try a crazy hypothetical. Just ask, if the world ended in 15 minutes, what would you do? These hypotheticals catch people by surprise, but they're a lot more engaging than stale opening lines. Number 6. I really like… If you're feeling bold, start the conversation with a compliment. It takes courage to use a compliment as your opening line, but a compliment may instantly win someone over, as long as you do it right. There are right and wrong ways to give a compliment. Let's say you see a girl that you're interested in. If you walk up to her and comment on her figure, she's going to turn you down. These compliments are like shooting yourself in the foot. Instead of saying something nice and warm, you're coming off creepy and intrusive. So, what should you say instead? If you want to give someone a compliment, target something small and personal. Pick an item of clothing or a piece of jewelry. If you want to get physical, you can compliment their eyes or their smile. But don't use your compliment to tell someone how attractive they are. The purpose of your compliment is to start a conversation, so make sure you do start a conversation. If you compliment a piece of jewelry, then ask about it. That way, the conversation will get rolling without falling into awkward silence. Number 7. Having fun? If all else fails, this opening line can be your backup plan. Alright, let's say you can't think of anything exciting to say. You've run through a dozen lines in your head, but they all sound terrible. But instead of giving up and walking away, you simply ask a stranger if they're having a good time. This conversation starter is great for people who get nervous and quiet. It requires very little thought and very little preparation because you're asking the same question every time. This opening line works in every situation. It works on friends, connections, and possible partners. No matter who you're talking to, this question can start a longer conversation. But don't expect the same answers in every context. If you ask this question while networking, expect to talk about work, the event, or the venue. If you ask this question at a party, expect their answer to be more personal and relaxed. Like many of the opening lines on this list, this conversation starter has one flaw. Sometimes it's a dead end. All right, let's say you ask someone if they're having fun, and they simply say, yes. Uh, where do you go from there? Normally, people don't give short and simple answers like these. But just in case, have a few more questions waiting if you need them. Once you've started the conversation, you have a lot more flexibility. So use this conversation starter whenever you're nervous or tongue-tied. It may not be clever, but sometimes a simple opening line is all you need. Hey, thank you for watching Top Thing and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.